This is you and yours, Radio Four's consumer programme, and a new consumer website launched this week. It helps people to use social media to complain. A lot of companies have teams of people monitoring sites like Twitter and Facebook, and they can be much quicker to respond to a problem when they risk being publicly shamed. The new website's called A Spokesman Said, and it's the idea of Kelvin McKenzie, the former editor of The Sun, once one of the most powerful men in journalism. I spoke to him this morning and explained why he wants to be a consumer champion. I've really had the idea for the last twenty years. I discovered when I was the editor of the Sun that when my landline went down, BT sent out a thousand engineers to fix it. Once I was no longer the editor of the Sun, I had to wait a week or ten days, like everybody else, for, for the phone lines to be fixed. So that's when I understood that the power of publicity and exposure, something that you know yourself through you and yours. Is massively powerful and it helps the little guy. How exactly is it going to work? You send your complaint to our site.、Uh, you write a little headline which we put on Twitter. You then write 120 words about whatever the complaint is. At the end of it, it says, "My perfect solution is." There's a kind of drop down. I want this practice to stop. I want compensation. I want my money back. I want the CEO fired. Something like that. And then you press a button, obviously, in order for it to appear on the site. And a clock starts ticking. The company gets two days. All companies start with 100% power score. They get two days in which to reply. If they don't reply within two days, that number starts going down and down and down. They then do reply. Hopefully, they do reply, or it carries on going down. And then the complainant gets the right to give a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Both the time it took for the company to respond goes into an algorithm. The Whether the complainant gives a thumbs up or a thumbs down goes into the algorithm. Plus, other users can come on and say, "Well, the same thing happened to me." And depending on how many there are of those, that goes into the algorithm. The algorithm then throws out a customer power score. It's unfair, isn't it, that companies won't answer a hundred emails, but will sometimes respond to a single tweet? But that's how it is, I guess. I had a look this morning at the website, and I know it's new, but it didn't look like anyone had responded to you yet. So you're relying on them to to start to understand that you're there. I I think that's absolutely true. The reality is that companies don't want to respond. And look, we're at the beginning of this run. Okay, it's not a commercial site. I'm not commercialising for revenues. I am committed to this site for the rest of my working life, kind of thing. So I totally accept that companies don't feel they have to respond as they start seeing their numbers going down sharply. I suspect they will respond. So, as I said, I'm at the start of this. I'm at the start of this、um, battle. How will it make money in the longer term? I'm not sure how it'll make money. Really? Basic, basically, it's going to do good, and things will take a long time. If you want, go and ask which. How long it took them before they started、um, creating significant revenues? I have some ideas on how it'll work in the end, but they're only ideas. And at the beginning, you know, we have to prove that there is a need for this. I'm sure there's a need for it. It gives the little guy power, and they haven't got any right now. It's、uh, reported that a big guy, Rupert Murdoch, is backing you financially. Is that true, Kelvin? He is a shareholder. That is certainly true. He did write a check. Yeah. You couldn't tell us for how much. No, I won't. No, I won't. Kelvin McKenzie, the former editor of the Sun and founder of a new consumer website, it's called A Spokesman Said.